going on, bro? It's been a while. <clears throat> yes, I'm back with the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, episode 62. Woo-hoo! Oh, man, how long has it been? Must have been a year, I think. Probably about a year. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Commitment issues, you see, right here. I get these ideas, these good ideas, and I'm like, yeah, you know what? You know what? This is going to be great. And I'll work on it, and I'll make all kinds of content, and i keep it going. And then all of a sudden, you got to go to a fucking job away from home at work, and, you, and then you, you're like, ah, I don't feel like podcasting. I'll wait till I get back. And then two months go by, you come back home, you're like, ah, I'll do it later. And then you never get around to doing it, and then you go back to work for another few months. And then you're like, okay, after these months, I'm getting right back into the grind of things. Podcast is starting back up. And then, time goes on, and you know, you just, you procrastinate. And you don't do it. And you just keep putting it off until tomorrow. And then uh, it just never gets done. So that's why you haven't seen me. And also you haven't seen me because you're not watching. Because nobody's watching. But don't worry. I don't give up. <laughs> I'm not giving up. I can't. I've been... So speaking of working away. As, as I've been... You know. I'm in this job. And have been in this uh, job for quite some time now, years and years. Pretty well straight out of high school, I went into heavy duty mechanicking. And then three years after that, I said, fuck it, and I left and I started doing something else in the oil field. And I know what you're thinking, oil field, what the hell are you doing working in the oil field? Are you trying to ruin the world? Are you trying to uh, kill Mother Nature or something? No. Okay. I hate it just as much as you. Okay. But sometimes you just need the money. And where I'm located, it's kind of the only thing to do. Unfortunately. So, while I was working away, it was like the worst, and it always is, and it and it will be every time. It's it's a hor- it's a nightmare for me. It's just a good nightmare. Okay, it's not fun. There's nothing worse than being away from home doing something you hate. But I mean, you get paid to do it, so it's like ah, uh, it's fucked up. Okay, I'd much rather make a career out of doing stuff like this. Can you hear that? Then, then, uh, you know, what I'm doing right now, and I don't even, I don't even want to talk about it. Like, even just thinking about it makes me want to puke. You like my mustache? Why do I have a mustache? Well, because the fucking field of work I'm in says I can't have facial hair other than a mustache. Why? Am I in the military? No. But... I'm, uh, in the field of work that I'm in, there's a potential of, you know, H2S, the poisonous gas, coming out and exposing myself to that. And if that happens, I gotta wear a fucking face mask, supplied oxygen. And if you got facial hair, and you try to put the mask on, not a proper seal. But you know what? There's, there's positive air flow. It's gonna push whatever, you know, if it's not sealed properly, it's gonna, the air's gonna push that shit away. You know what I mean? Anyway, enough about that stupid shit. I got a card here. This is the card I made, you know, way back whenever I made episode 61. I made this card. Because, you know, that's what I did back then. I was, you know, I'd be thinking stuff and I'd write down. Shibbity boobity bobbity boobity bobbity boobity on the card. And what I have on here, before I get to the card, let me just say this. Um, today is Thursday. I have to go back to work 
on Monday. Ugh. I'm gonna puke. Until, I don't know, sometime in March probably. Unfortunately. But I'm glad I'm getting back into the groove of these podcasts. And I'm... Ugh. I've let it go too long. And I'm committing myself to get it done. You know, it's not like I have to edit it every night, just as long as I film it. You know, I just looked, I looked back through all my stuff and I saw how I edited it. Because it's a process, you know. It'd be nice if you could just film and click pause and then it edits itself for you and uploads itself for you. But that's not the case. You gotta put in the time, you gotta do what it takes, okay? This morning, I inst I installed the light. That was just my cell phone. My 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 service provider for my uh, phone is saying, "Hey, you owe us money, and we ain't gonna take that shit either." But you put your fucking ass. Oh, you better give us that money. You better give it. You know. Uh, la, la, la. Okay, I'll put in the light. See the light? It's changing colors. Mushroom. California reefer. Uh, looks familiar. I'm in a different place. Oh, in the little uh, jungle down below. You can't really see. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Where's the weed, buddy? You're in Canada. You can smoke the reefer. Why don't we do that? Uh, one quick hoot. Let me go grab the reefer. For those who don't know, Canada, Canada, Canada has legalized marijuanas. Okay, I'm just writing down on the card here so I have something to reference when I'm making the thumbnail or whatever. I'm just quick little words. You don't need to write a full sentence. I'll be right back. Rock and roll comes for tolls, and you don't want nothing but me. You guys remember Oliver? Oh my god, Oliver, come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Don't run away. Come up. Ah, he's being a little weirdo. Look, Olive. Look into the camera. It's a poopy. And he's gone. See you later. Remember the podcast? Uh-huh, I still got the olive. My hair is a little greasy. I just woke up. That's why my eyes are baggy. I woke up this morning and I was like, shit, boy. You know what? Get fucking cracking. You're living your life wasting time, moping and being a little sad bitch. And you've been living in this place by yourself for who knows how long now. And you still haven't got around to doing any podcasts or writing? What the hell? Come on. Get to it. Boy. We got some crazy stuff to talk about. Crazy. You're going to love it. I'm just kidding. Don't worry. It's going to get better. Don't worry. Let me just get back into the groove of things. I'm just, I'm just slipping my way in. You know? Like a little snake. Okay, let's have the first hoot of the day. It's 10.35 in the a.m. And it's uh, beautiful, sunny. No, it's not sunny. Uh, it is sunny, actually. But it's winter. Freaking cold, okay? I gotta work outside. Remember, I'm in the... And it's, it's February... The past few days that I was working, it was minus 37 degrees Celsius. Okay? Figure that out in Fahrenheit and come back to me. Cold. Not the coldest it's ever been, but it's cold. I should put my phone on mute, but whatever. Uh, yeah, let's have this hoop.
Because I know what you're thinking. When that phone goes off, you see me look at it and you're like, Oh, he's reading the message. Why is he reading the message? Yeah, there's a, you know, I gotta have my phone on. Because if I, I gotta get called, if I get called into work, I gotta go. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. You know, someday, I hope this podcast can blow up and go somewhere. Oh my god. But the thing is, you can't give up. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep struggling. Like NASA, you know? You think they gave up on their first rocket ship? Hell nah! Ah! But the depression, you know, it's just... Oh. It's not fun being a young adult, okay? Once you get past the awkward and uh, wonder stages, I'm sure it gets better. Everyone says it does. When you're a young adult, you just overthink everything, especially when you have major anxiety and depression, which I happen to have. Unfortunate. Let's have this hoot. I know what you're thinking. You're like, just fucking take the hoot. I got the green bastard here. Okay. Take a deep breath. Get it situated. And go. down the wrong esophagus. <laughs> Went down the wrong esophagus. <laughs> Why you do this to me? <laughs> Puke burp. If I puke, I'll do it on camera. Sometimes I over. <coughs> Sometimes I overreact for the comedic effect. Sometimes people get annoyed by that. <coughs> but most times it's pretty genuine. I smoke a lot of weed. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I know how, okay? <coughs> now you're not supposed to leave it in the throat. You gotta get it in that lung. Both of them. And then get it back out. Give you the least amount of coughing. I keep looking at the viewfinder. Um. What the hell was I gonna say? Right. Huh. Screw it. I'm not gonna say it. When you see me cough like that, it's not because I'm an amateur. Okay? It's because I'm just doing it. It's because I have bad lungs or something. Okay, I've been smoking weed since the day I was born. <clears throat> no, well. Whatever, okay? Whatever. Oh, how long have we been going on for? Okay, just as I suspected. 14 minutes and 22 seconds Will you be my blessed seconds? That shocked the hell out of me. Oh, oh, oh. So we only have one thing to talk about on here. Whoa, what the hell's on the back? Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I, if you don't know, I put out an album probably about a year ago uh, called The Epiphany of Miss Tiffany. And you can check it out on SoundCloud if you go to Dynamite Gizmo. Just go to the Dynamite Gizmo page and check it out. Or it's also on this YouTube channel. You know? A wing bag boom bong. So here's a, here's another here's a something I want to talk about, YouTube. Now, if I'm smoking weed on my YouTube page, I don't know if my video is gonna get demonetized. Probably, but I don't know. Uh, also I don't know if I can curse anymore. If I do curse, I've gotta bleep it out. Uh, I can't even, I can't say the word gun, which I think I gotta bleep that out. Or at least that's what I've been seeing. Like, I'll see these YouTube channels and they'll bleep out the word gun. And I'm like, what? Like, seriously, is that what we're, is that what we've come to now? We're literally bleeping the word gun out of our videos just so we can keep it monetized are you fucking kidding me that's just stupid <clears throat> but unfortunately that's what it's come down to there's certain words you can't say you can't mention things you know and you gotta abide by the rules that's how YouTube's play in this game because they want the advertisers to be like, hey, I would love to use your site. But I ain't gonna do it if there's a bunch of naughty Nancys on there. <clears throat> I don't know, like, why don't advertisers realize that it's not always about being soft and squishy and cute and fuzzy and, and perfect. People like a little gruesome humor. People like a little bit of cursing and a little bit of joking around. And for the people that don't like it, they don't have to watch it. But that's, you know, that's not the case. It's not the case for the space race. Smash that like button. Hit subscribe. Click on that bell notification. <laughs> oh, that's another thing that I hate. The fact that everyone says that shit and they're always like, Oh, notification squad. Uh, if this video hits 100,000 likes, I'll do this. And you know, I get why they do it. But it's just so cheese. It's cheese, man. Everybody does that shit, and I fucking hate it. Or you'll be watching the video, and then all of a sudden, they just go from talking about something to jumping into an ad. Speaking of this, why don't you go to www.sabatabob.com forward slash Dynamite Gizmo and get a free 25% discount on blah, 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 which may be me someday. I'm sure, uh, well, I shouldn't say I'm sure, but there's potential I could get a sponsor, but, mm, yeah, no, yeah, of course, because there's sponsors out there that will sponsor you even if you're dirty, because, you know, H3, <clears throat> they, all their videos are pretty much demonetized, but they make a lot of money just strictly off the sponsors, and the sponsors are like, yeah, it's fine. Like me undies are like, yeah, you can curse, I don't care. But then there's other ones who are like, no! Spick and span! Clean and snappy! Do it, frappy! I don't want no jappy! Attitude! Coming with the blast catitude! Fatitude! I don't want the matitude! But you coming back with the MC ran on the streets, got a rock ran with the bando! Ando, put a on a friend though. There's no way I'm gonna <coughs> scroll through my video and uh, bleep out the curse words. 
There's no way. There's no way. I'm at 160 subscribers. Which is nothing. But they have not been dropping. They've only been gaining. You know, the, the last video I made, the last podcast I made, I had 152. I haven't made a podcast in over a year, and I'm at 160, so I'm like, you know what? <laughs> it's not bad, you know? It's going up, at least. And I haven't even done anything. So what if I do something? Then what's gonna happen? Sky shrock it through the sky! <coughs> I also got a new tattoo. Over the, uh... Um... Uh, over the summer. Oh my god, I can't even bend my arm like that. It's hard to see. Illuminati! Yeah. I'm part of the Illuminati, that's why, you know. Oh, no, no. Reggie, ha! Ha! Rarry me home! Uh, what else? What else is going on? Oh, yeah. I haven't talked about what's on the card yet. Oh, you know what? When I got this tattoo, I also got this shirt the same day. And then, uh, yeah, I won't talk about what else happened because it's a bit depressing. But, uh, what do we got here? So I, I made this card way back when. So obviously there's old news on here, which is Will Smith. What do you think I'm going to say next? YouTube Rewind? No! Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not going to talk about that shit. Will Smith getting gold play button. Remember that? Oops. I'm sure it won't be long before he gets the fucking diamond. But he was... Hold on. He was so proud of this. Well, he wasn't. He was and he wasn't. Proud of this gold play button. So he makes... Will Smith makes this YouTube channel. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Will Smith. And I always have. I grew up on Fresh Prince. And even his, even his rapping. I loved it. He was, uh... He was part of my childhood. Okay? Still have a lot of respect for the guy. But he makes this YouTube channel. Okay? Within... A few months. He's already hit 100,000 subscribers and he gets this gold play button and it's like, ooh. He's like, yeah, I got this play button. Ooh, and he's showing it off and he's happy or whatever. And it's like, ah. Will Smith is so goddamn popular and famous that he can just get a play button by making a, a channel. He probably, he didn't need, like, he makes good content, but he didn't even have to make good content. He could have just made something on his cell phone, and he still would have got that play button, because he's Will Smith. You know what I mean? And he was talking about his life, and how he, you know, he would never change it for anything, and no matter where he goes, he's recognized, and he can use that to his advantage, and, or, or was, you know, he made a video about it. And I just try to put myself in the mindset of Will Smith. It's not easy. Like, how does that guy live daily and what goes on through his head? How does he think about life? Because he sees himself as like this fucking almost godlike creature. He can go anywhere. And as long as someone like recognizes him, he can, uh, you know, he can go up to someone and say, hey. Yeah, you got can I borrow some money? I need to go grab a sandwich. And you're like, oh my god, it's Will Smith, of course, of course. You forgot your wallet, of course I'll give you some money. It's just like, uh... Ultimate fame. What does that feel like? Is it good? Is it bad? Would I like it? In my head? Of course I want that. But there's a difference between thinking about something and wanting it, 
and actually experiencing it and wanting it. You know what I mean? And you may be thinking, well, it can't be that bad. But maybe it is. Because anything you do is uh, watched and talked about by everyone. So if you fuck up, you could have a really bad year. You could have you could ruin your career by saying something that was just meant to be a silly joke. Ah, and we see it almost every day with a different celebrity. They say something controversial or do something. And even if it's not that controversial, if it's something simple, people will take it and twist it and manipulate it. And you know that? I'm sure that's not fun. That can't be fun. But is it worse than just having a, you know, regular person job? being miserable because you hate doing what you do? I don't know. I really don't. And the only way I will know is to experience the fame and fortune. And so that's one of the reasons why I would like this podcast to blow up. Or the music, or my books, or whatever. That's, you know, that's one reason. The other reason is obviously, it, I love doing it. And yes, I've been work I've been working on the book, my books, my writing. I've got, I'm, I've got two books on the go. I've got, and I've finished a script. I've been working on that more than anything. Okay. <clears throat> and then the album is already complete and I'm working on my second album right now. I got the piano right here, but I uh, can't plug it, plug it in because my light that I'm using right up here needs the cord that the piano uses. I bought this light on uh, Wish. You're thinking, why would you do that? Who the fuck orders shit from Wish, especially a light? But you know what? It's super bright. There's all kinds of settings. Uh, it's LED. It works perfectly and it was cheap. But the fucking thing, you know, there's a spot in the back for a battery. A rechargeable, you know, brick, square looking battery, like a camera battery. And, uh, it didn't come with one. Uh, there's this, a plug, you know, you can just plug in and have direct current. But, didn't come with a cable. So I have to use my piano cable for the light. Uh, someday I'll buy another one so I can use both independently. But for now, this is how it is. Is this boring? Are you sick of me talking about this shit? Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. What is this? JP Visors. Focus, focus. Is it gonna focus? Let's see. Yeah, baby. Focus on me, please. Hi. Now we're going for 29 minutes. Retribution makes me too shun. Retribution. It's retribution. Uh, so I guess that's it. That's it for the comeback. The comeback kid. That's me. I came back. Said I would. Even said it on Insta Slam. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't come back there either. But I'm back now. I'm back now. I'm not gone for good. But I'm back now, baby. 
So, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It only takes one second. Just go down, scroll down, click that like button, okay? Do it right now. Just do it right now. Just do it. I'm not going to continue unless you hit that like button. So hit that fucking like button, okay? I don't care about the bell notification, but you know what? Just click it, okay? Just fucking click it. Because you never know when I'm going to upload again, so you might as well just fucking click that bell notification. And then when I do upload, you'll see. You'll see. Just kidding. Oh, oh. I'm going to upload consistently. I'm gonna try. Now that I've got this one out of the way, you know, the, the first one is always the toughest. Getting back into it. But once you get in, once you, once you dive in, I'm in. I'm in. Okay? I'm in the pool. I'm not in the deep end until this gets uploaded, but once it's uploaded, ba 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 boom. Um, what was, I, what was the point I was trying to get at? I'm back into groove things, yo. Subscribe, like, comment, bell notification. Uh, yeah. Smell you later. I don't remember what I used to say at the end. Peace!